In this video, I'll be taking a brief look at the latest release from Marvel and Walt Disney Pictures Home Entertainment, the long-awaited 4K Blu-ray release of Avengers Endgame. We'll kick off with a brief unboxing of this Cinematic Universe edition, which is bundled with a 4K disc, Blu-ray disc and digital code, and then get onto my quick review of the film presentation and special features. Endgame comes in this incredible slipcover featuring the film's main poster artwork. Much like Disney's recent Captain Marvel slip, this is one that collectors are going to absolutely love, and I personally think it's one of the best Marvel slips ever released. There's plenty of embossing across all of the characters on the cover, as well as on the title logo, and additionally there is some fantastic Starburst holofoil effects right across the cover from top to bottom, making this a spectacularly dynamic and eye-popping slip. Not since some of Disney's earliest animated slips, like Fantasia, have I seen holofoil effects done so beautifully and used so effectively. The spines on the disc are a dark bluish purple carrying over the colour scheme of the front and feature the film's logo as well as a small image of Tony Stark. Both spines are exactly the same and while this is just a small nitpick I would have loved if one side featured Steve Rogers too. The back cover of the set is beautifully designed as well utilising many of the individual character posters from the film of the original Avengers. The holofoil effect from the front continue over onto the back as well. As usual, the back features a small synopsis and a write-up of the film's special features and specs. For full details on all of this, I produced a video going in-depth on the release when it was first announced, and you can check that one out via the hyperlink at the end of the video. Taking the disc out of the slipcover, you'll see that the artwork underneath is exactly the same, which is pretty much the standard for most studio releases these days. As all Disney releases, the set comes with a digital code pamphlet for you to redeem the movie via Movies Anywhere and its linked platforms, including iTunes, and another prompting you to join the Disney Movie Club. Avengers Endgame is presented as a three disc set. As per usual from Disney, the 4K disc features printed artwork, and what I think they've chosen here is a fairly uninspired screen grab from the film, and I think something a little more dynamic could have been used, like some of the film's other really great poster art. The two Blu-rays on the other hand, one which features the film and the other which contains the selection of special features are presented as standard plain blue discs with white texts. It's a little disappointing to see the US continue with the plain blue discs considering the UK Disney sets have recently reverted to using disc art across all discs included. Avengers Endgame is a beautifully shot film that explodes onto home media with a fantastic presentation. The film was shot entirely on IMAX cameras at 6.5K, though received a 2K digital intermediate. This means that the camera raw footage was downscaled, but then has been once again upscaled for the home media 4K presentation. Regardless, this is still a very nice 4K transfer, which offers sharp and crisp visuals, providing a moderately noticeable difference difference and reasonable upgrade to the HD Blu-ray transfer, which is fantastic in and of itself. As with most 4K releases though, Endgame's HDR presentation is what makes it a worthy successor to the Blu-ray. While Endgame is an incredibly exciting, explosive action blockbuster, due to the darker nature of the film, it's not exactly one that is incredibly vibrant or colourful overall, lending to a 4K and Blu-ray release that isn't overly punchy. However, when there are moments of colour, they really do burst off the screen. Most notably in the final action sequence and the scenes on Vormir and in Tokyo, which especially offer some punchy, vibrant colours. As a visually darker film, the HDR also provides some incredibly solid black levels and depth. This is far from the greatest 4K transfer on the market, and somewhat surprising for a film of its kind isn't exactly reference material. But for the film's specific nature and tonal artistic direction, it's close to perfect. If you've seen any of Marvel's 4K releases thus far, especially Infinity War, you'll know what to expect here. Again, the standard Blu-ray is absolutely top-notch, and while the 4K doesn't exactly offer an incredibly sharper or crisper image, the HDR certainly makes the 4K the more attractive and in my opinion superior and most captivating viewing experience and is definitely worthy of your purchase if you have the capability or plan to upgrade in the future. 
The set offers a Dolby Atmos track on the 4K and a 7.1 DTS track on the Blu-ray and both sound great. The 4K's Atmos track in fact is a small leap over ones previously presented on Disney releases. The film's soundtrack is full and energetic with enchanting and immersive score and sound effects. I'm not working with a fully decked out sound system at the moment but from what I have to work with this does sound pretty great. While Endgame was shot with IMAX cameras and utilised the IMAX ratio of 1.90 to 1 for the entire duration of its IMAX presentation, Endgame is presented on home media in its standard theatrical aspect of 2.39 to 1. While it would be great to own both this and Infinity War in their IMAX ratios, these releases aim to present the films in their most widely viewed form, in the way filmmakers intended the film to be seen, and in which most audiences experience the film in cinemas. Please remember the IMAX version is simply a special expanded presentation and the home media release presenting the film in the standard ratio does not mean it has been cropped or altered. As for special features presented on the two Blu-ray discs, Endgame offers a little under an hour's worth of stuff in addition to its feature length audio commentary. That's certainly a step up from Marvel's standard 20 minute selection of features, but still far and away from what was expected from a release of this calibre, and to be honest I find it to be a little bit of a disappointing offering. Sadly there's nothing here that goes incredibly in depth into the filmmaking process of either Endgame or Infinity War. Both both of which were shot back to back, with the set instead offering a number of smaller behind the scenes glimpses including a great piece on the A-Force team up in the finale, a look into Fat Thor and a nice Stanley tribute, as well as some fluffier retrospective character explorations featuring footage mainly from previous films. Again it's all the kind of stuff that I feel like we've seen on YouTube featurettes before. The set is rounded out with the usual gag reel and a small selection of deleted scenes which run at around 5 minutes. This may not seem like much, but considering the Russos have previously confirmed that they barely chopped anything out of the film, I'm surprised to see this much on here. Most of these are fairly run of the mill deleted scenes and really only worth watching if you are a die hard fan, though there is one fantastic and emotional deleted moment here which was originally set to take place after Tony's death. Just to confirm here, the Hulk scene featured at the end of Endgame's theatrical re-release is not included on this set, neither is the scene featuring Catherine Langford as a grown up Morgan Stark, again a touch disappointing in both regards. I haven't had a chance to listen to the entire director's commentary just yet, but what I heard sounds great and it should offer a more in-depth look into the film's creation if the Russo's previous commentaries are anything to go by. Avengers Endgame is available to purchase in the US in Canada on 4K, Blu-ray and DVD as of August 13th, 2019. If you'd like to purchase a copy of the film, you can find affiliate purchase links in the description below and again I will link my more in-depth breakdown of this release at the jump. Thanks once again to my wonderful friends over at the Walt Disney Company for sending me this advanced copy of Avengers Endgame for the purposes of this review. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.